uh, on behalf of Governor Baker's office, I would I want to welcome you uh, during Black History Month uh, to this special occasion uh, for the signing of uh, the executive order reestablishing the Black Advisor Commission. Um, when the governor made this decision with the lieutenant governor um, to reestablish this commission by executive order, I was very pleased but frankly not surprised. I mean, this administration with the leadership of the governor has really been ensuring that we are working on key initiatives throughout the Commonwealth to make sure that economic prosperity, job creation, and opportunity is spread to every neighborhood, to every citizen across the Commonwealth. But as it relates today, um, blacks, blacks' unemployment rate has actually gone from 12 percent um, to 6 percent. And while we, we are uh, making real progress, and that's in the context of creating over 100,000 jobs um, in the Commonwealth. And with this commission, as an ex-officio member, I'm really looking forward to your guidance, your leadership, uh, your support to make sure we keep focusing on economic development and job creation for all the citizens of the Commonwealth, but certainly the populations we're talking about here uh, today. But we can't begin to fix and address issues that we don't acknowledge. And I think the first step of reestablishing the commission uh, is an acknowledgement and a commitment to seriously looking at what are the obstacles and concerns of the black community in its entirety. I began by simply saying that we meet with the, with the governor every three months. And when we initially, that is we, the, the Black and Latino Caucus, when we initially uh, met with him the first time, one of the big questions was how often would he meet with us? And uh, we were thinking he would probably say once a year or so, and we're going to have to fight with him about it. But uh, Rep Swan at the time said, we think we should meet quarterly. And he says, fine, let's, let's do that. And so I'm going to just say he has been true to his word that every single quarter we have met. I want to thank Governor Baker, Lieutenant Governor Polito, and the Baker administration for recognizing the value of including the black community's priorities when making policy decisions. Reestablishing the governor's Black Advisory Commission is a step to bring diverse voices to the table. And Representative Holmes touched on this. The black community's voice is quite diverse, isn't it? African American, folks from the Caribbean, from Africa, from Cape Verde, from all over. But we are all black in this struggle. We are all black Americans. We are all black residents here in Massachusetts. This community has and continues to make outstanding achievements on behalf of our Commonwealth, advancing the progress of our economy, our educational infrastructure, social, cultural, and technical fields. We are extremely proud to be here to sign this executive order. And as much as we celebrate this moment, we have much work to do. And we take this whole notion as an administration about e pluribus unum, out of many, one, extremely seriously. For us to succeed as a commonwealth, it's important that voices, all voices, believe they have a chance to be heard. We are really looking forward to the work you all do and to the opportunity we have to build a better, stronger commonwealth.